Hello to all you lovely human beings and welcome back to a brand new Curse Dots Bomb PK update review video. Today on this video we have a 3 trillion GP giveaway so stay tuned to the end to learn how you can apply for that. And if you're wondering about this update we're going to get right into it but I do want to say first Bomb PK is absolutely as the kids say bussin. There are a ton of people online we've got 285 so log in try it out there's a link in the description if you click that it's my referral link it helps me it helps you it helps all of us be better booze to our significant others and without further there, you guys let's get into the update so this is a community driven update this came out uh, I believe yesterday uh, and by the way for those who are who are wanting to get more cursed out content I am planning on streaming tonight at around 5 to 6 p.m. EST I don't know which yet because there's construction on the building that I'm currently in that is happening right now um, I would like that construction to stop, but it has not yet. So hopefully it's over by then and then I'll start streaming. So this is the community driven update. Note from the developer, second compilation updated of high voted suggestions in the suggestions channel in our discord. Uh, there's a blood slayer cave, which is our first thing here. The blood slayer cave, this new cavern can be unlocked at rank 25 blood slayer for 500 blood slayer points. So I'm very far away from it, but I sure would like to do it. When teleporting to the cavern, you, there's a singles plus zone. So now there's a single singles plus zone in spawn PK, which is kind of great because the customs make it really hard to PK in multi. Um, and you, you get 30 minutes of magic sickness. Wow, that is a lot. The only exit is a rope which climbs you to level 50 for wilderness. You're the bats and mage banks if you wear. In addition, Yoshi pets auto loot to the inventory. So it's a pretty dangerous place to be. Um, if we look at this map here, there's new stuff. Uh, enraged Chaos Druids, Enraged Frost Dragons. Enra uh, there's the exit and entrance there. Rune Dragons, Lava Dragons, Hellhounds, Abyssal Demons, Dark Beasts. And then we've got the Blood Slayer Beast boss, which we'll get into. I think, I think it's pretty sick. Um, really cool stuff coming out of there. Uh, there are enraged versions of monsters. We already went over that. Um, you can only attack things that are your Blood Slayer cave task. Interesting. There's five tasks per day. Um, all monsters drop cave essence. Uh, interesting. Oh, it, it's to summon the Blood Slayer beast boss. Nice. Okay, cool. We're going to move down. There's also the new cave key and loops. Um, or loop and tooths, rather. Or teeth. It's not tooths, it's teeth. Uh, uh, it can be combined to create a cave key, which gives you access to the boss layer. Makes sense. Um, there's a kill count and drop rate bonus. Every five kills you have, your drop rate bonus increases by 1%. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is what one of the rune dragons look li looks like. Very bloody. Um, then there's the blood slayer beast boss, which has the, uh, you know, the, you need the cave key to get in there. Um, there's a new item called the blood candle and it drops these relics. So this might be really good for my bronze man account. I've been thinking about that a lot. Like I've been going so hard for blood slayer. When in fact, maybe I should just go for the blood relic from this boss. Um, there's the new blood candle, which can attack, attach to a jungle totem lantern uh, to make the blood totem lantern, obviously. Uh, for the following upgrades, there's a, an increased strength bonus, increased drop rate, and increased, increased damage bonus, which is great. So this is the new best in slot offhand, basically, for PVM. Uh, in general yeah so the previous looked like this little lantern here this green lantern that both me and my mini me have uh it looks pretty sick but i'm wondering how the blood one looks i don't think there's even one in game um so if, if if somebody has you know if somebody is lucky here it's probably gonna go for like 10 15 trill if not more they've also added a redesign to the pure zone i know it's been annoying when you're at pure right how uh how it, it, there's so many people in one spot well now there won't be that's gonna be way more check this out so you run into me at pure right oh no it's gonna be so many people in fights, right? Nope, not anymore. We can go wherever we want, baby. The extended pure zone is our zone. Hell yeah. Along with that, there are some new quality of life updates coming to spawn PK. Uh, Yoshi will not send items to your looting bag if you have one open in your inventory. Uh, there's now the Blood Slayer tentacle weapon in the Blood Slayer shop. I wish I could show you guys exactly what this does. It's a sick weapon. I don't have it yet, and I sure would like to buy it, but I don't think I can because I don't have the requirements of this account. Yeah, I don't have rank 25 Blood Slayer, unfortunately. I'm rank, let's see what our rank is actually. I'm curious. What's my Blood Slayer? I'm so sorry for the, I'm rank 24. <laughs> I'm so close. Uh, I need five more tasks for it. Um, but yeah, this is the Blood Slayer Tentacle. It's t plus 10% more damage on Blood Slayer task targets. And also it works with the Blood, um, no, what's it called? The, the Elder Blood Ring. So it's super good. Um, if you can get one of these, you, like, get it. Um, it's really good. As well as, here's the Blood Slayer Cave Scroll that I that I didn't mention, but should have. Uh, you need this to get into the Blood Slayer Cave. 500 Blood Slayer points, 25 Blood Slayer. They've also improved the Deep Wild Hotspot. It now gives uh, plus 25% global drop rate in the Wilderness. Wow, that's fantastic. Um, a 25% chance for Superior Blood Revenants and Wilderness Bosses. A plus 25% chance. So it's, it's, a, it's a more, it's basically better for everyone. 
Um, the serve adjustment to the dark low pipe. This thing is crazy. Now check this out. Two ticks. Uh, there's a two tick attack speed instead of I think it was three tick. And uh, the special attack has a slightly longer delay. So let me show you guys what that looks like. All right, check this thing out. It is pretty bonkers, I must say. Okay, so uh, let me turn on my attack options because I messed that up. Attack the max hit dummy. Look at this. 36, 36. That's a crazy attack speed for such a strong weapon. This is this thing is overpowered. Oh my god, I had a 71. Jesus Christ. So yeah, this uh, this is definitely a good weapon. Jeez. Uh, there's also the a new raids chart. So basically, uh, this thing you you can put in your study room in your house, which gives you 10% uh, raid chest. Rate, oh, rate. Oh, that's pretty sick. So basically, you get an hour of better better raid luck. Um, a standard ice sword has been nerfed, which is good because it was so strong before. Like way too strong it was like the strongest wet the strongest pet in pvm which is ridiculous so good but the mystical eye sword stayed the same so it is now the best in slot pvm the amount of blood money dropped by all wilderness bosses uh, has been increased which is great um there's a chat message from the soul beast uh, great so if you have a, if you have a soul mini beast um and it procs you now get a notification in the chat Zoltar's drop table has been buffed to be more profitable let's take a look at that real quick let's take a peek so now there's trish chest um, all these have been lowered to 1 out of 125, which is great because it was way too rare before. I think this was 1 out of 3k, and that's 1 out of 1333, which is good. Um, this thing goes for like 3 trill because of the Wandering Merchant. Yeah, this is definitely a buff drop table um, from what it was. And it's also it's a, an achievement thing, right? So if you get lucky enough while you're completing your achievement to get a Dark Mutagen, great, congratulations. You can now exchange uh, Swift Glides and Spellcasters outside of the Wilderness. That's so nice. I know that's like very small. But like it's so nice. If you have a Blood Slayer Beast pet, uh, the double Larence key drop has been increased to 35%. So that's pretty damn good. That with a Larence scroll, you're talking like 50% of the time you're gonna get double Larence keys. Um, PvP boxes, treasure chests, and treasure caskets are now notable. Um, this is kind of sick. You can note these now and just open them all at once. That's pretty damn cool. Um, the Yell broadcast has been removed for these, so you don't have to worry about being annoyed by that. Pet Fuse, uh, a Holy Nightmare, Limit Break Berserk have been added to the Pet Fuse box. And just a quick plug for my stream tonight, just in case you're wondering, these are some of the things that I'm planning to open in today's stream. It's gonna be huge. There's gonna be a lot of fun, a lot of stuff going on. We're gonna interact with the updates, we're gonna PK, we're gonna P we're gonna PVM, we're gonna we're gonna make money schmooze, and we're gonna do giveaways. It's gonna be fun. Come through. We got an increased bank space, baby. <laughs> This is so nice, 250 more available bank space. I needed it, I was out. Like, I had like none left. I have a, a bunch of items on an alt, so it's really nice. Um, the fighter torso is notable, so you can remove it from your bank. There were like 250 mil fighter torsos in my bank for the longest time, which is fantastic. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Max friendly size is now increased from 200 to 350. That's also so nice. It was so annoying having to, to like delete somebody to make room for someone else all the time. Um, uh, winter dyes have been added to the winter coin shop. Cosmetic boss pets now get 15% damage bonus towards their respective boss. So uh, if God Wars Dungeon ever comes out, your boy is definitely ready for that. Redemption prayer is now functional, which is sick. So basically redemption works, like fantastic. I've been waiting for that. Um, respawn timer for Callisto with an ad says 10 seconds now, so I can match the this boss is great. Um, kill count to loot broadcast in Chambers of Zarek. That's pretty cool for those raiders out there. Now you can see what kill count you got certain things on. Um, your player own house is a home teleport is now an option, which is sick for those who don't have special attack, uh, uh, the, the, the clone clone nurse special attack, uh, heal. A flask potions now give empty flasks for those of you who are in natures, uh, if you don't have file smashing activated, obviously. Um, the max hit dummy at meat is northeast of the zone, great. Uh, dark crystals, this is a big one. Scatizo dark crystals are now a 1 in 2500 drop. Um, Scatizo weapons are now more rare, more expensive, as they should be. There were way too many coming into the game every day, so that's a very nice update on that side. Um, our Dark Rossi has been added to the Blood Core pool for 125k Blood Core tokens. So for those of you who are worried about like hotspots becoming unprofitable, don't worry, it's not going to become unprofitable. Um, Ancestral has been added to Blood Core, great. Uh, Blood Cleaver now has a protection value, so that's pretty cool. It's a pretty strong weapon and probably needed that. Um, black, white, and shadow halo has been added to grand promos. That's sick. I wish I had those. Um, shop changes. Some shops have been fixed. Um, if there's more suggestions, put them in the Discord. Great. Hotspot point shop. This is pretty sick. I'm going to actually do this right here, right now. Added new opulent cursed die for 1,000 hotspot points each. They can die all untradeable cursed armors, including cursed void and cursed fighter gear. Uh, additionally, they can die ornament. They can have ornament cursed void elements to match the void. 
So uh, let's just do a little round of that. I'll show you guys real quick. For this, we need to make placeholders for our bank or it'll drive me crazy. We now have another uh, cursed void and cursed bottoms there. Um, let's go to the hot point, hot, hot point, the hotspot guide. So I was actually saving for the little hotspot bird thing. Let me look at my hotspot points, 5,425. I could afford it before, but now I will not be able to. Um, actually, wait, I can just buy these, hold on. Yeah, no way was I about to spend all my hotspot points on that, absolutely not. Um, we're gonna buy ourselves three of these bad boys, and I'll show you guys the difference between the two sets. Once again, I do apologize for any construction sounds you hear. There is construction going on in my building. Um, so first, let's take a look at this. It's a very nice, aesthetically pleasing set, but... Come on, that's pretty damn cool. It looks sick. And before I move on, real quick, um, I want to get five more of these things for the donator shop so we're gonna do that and we're gonna increase our bank space majorly baby oh this is so nice um, let's grab the obsidian we'll grab three more dies for ourselves from frognak thank you frognak again you know what I need to do because I can't stand having I need it I need it in my bank but let's take a look at this thing so before it looked like this and now it looks like this absolutely sick Let's go back to looking at the update, shall we? Vote points. So, uh, Goliaths and Swifts are now less vote points. There's no donator ranks within the vote point shop? Hold on. Um, in the vote point shop, there's the te there's badges that you can get for vote points instead of spending, like, instead of spending, like, bonds on it. You just don't get the donator tickets back. That's pretty sick. Um, $10 for 20 50 for 100 and 100 for 200 That's pretty sick. I guess it's only for, like, the first first hundred that you get but that's still cool some vote point stuff has been removed the stuff that's useless in there which is great so that's that's good um, blood pool shop uh, a bunch of changed prices nothing too significant there the bounty point shop it's just balancing pure point shop uh, five dollar bond is 100 pure points now great and some bug fixes um, for those wondering I guess the biggest thing here is uh, with the promo system where the five hundred dollar bar doesn't reset 450 so basically the promo system has been fixed uh, and the winter event has come to an end, but due to the high difficulty of Festive Bounty Hunter, it's going to be carried over. So if, if you were going for the, the uh, Santa Taunt in the Festive Bounty Hunter, don't worry, because you can get it still through to the, uh, the Easter event. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's go back to the main game. Hello, it's me, Cursed Out. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I know this was not the normal video that we have here, but let's grab out our giveaway here. For this giveaway, what you gotta do is you gotta like the video, you gotta comment your in-game name, and you gotta be in the comment section saying saying nice stuff. I'm kidding, you just say your in-game name. Uh, and you gotta be subscribed. Um, I'm going to be streaming tonight. Please, please, please come through. It's gonna be 5 or 6 p.m. EST. I don't know which yet. I will let you guys know in my Discord and in-game. So really, thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I do appreciate every single last one of you. Check out Spawn BK, link in the description. Cursed out, signing out. Goodbye.